Dengeki Boko Fighting Climax is a newly localized fighting game for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. The game's been out in Japan since last November, but it recently got localized here in the United States earlier this week. It plays very similar to games like let's say Marvel vs. Capcom or King of Fighters, but it has a very small niche of a target audience, which is why I was surprised to see it actually get localized here in the States this year. What primarily sets it apart from any other crossover fighting game is its unique cast of characters, primarily anime characters. Dengeki Boko Fighting Climax features 14 characters all ranging from different popular anime like Kirito and Asuna from Sword Art Online, Karino from Oriemo, and Taiga from Toradora. Along with the 14 playable characters are 23 assist characters that while aren't playable can aid you in battle. One of the coolest things about this game, and with pretty much any other crossover, is seeing all the different characters interact and Dedenki Boko Fighting Climax does a great job with it. There's a game mode called Dream Duels that'll have your favorite characters interact in talk scenes before entering in battles. It's a really neat touch to see all these characters actually interact while speaking, like seeing Karino think that Asuna is just cosplaying a random anime character. The game takes it a bit further with animations that happen right before a battle. For example, when you put Asuna against Kirito, they'll ask each other why the game is actually making them fight each other. A nice touch by the developers. The straight up attention to detail with the characters is really well done. I couldn't help but smile when I won a match with Asuna and suddenly I see Yui run across the screen and hug Asuna. Aside from the anime crossover, there's some hints that Sega was actually publishing this game, like the fact that there's a Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone stage and even two characters from some of their franchises. In terms of a fighting game, the Denki Bunko Fighting Climax is a lower tier fighting game in terms of difficulty. Basically, if you're not into most fighting games, this will be a very easy game to learn or adapt to. However, if you're into more unique or advanced fighting games, the Denki Boko Fighting Climax's gameplay might seem a little bit too simplified for your taste. Most of the specials in this game can be performed with the combination of either a half or a quarter circle, followed by a button press. There's also an auto combo system like Persona 4 Arena, where just pushing the square button will activate a simple special combo. There's also a move system called the Impact Skill, that will activate by pushing A and B together. These moves act as armored attacks that are usually translated the same across multiple characters. Climax arts are big specials that can be performed with a half circle in either direction, along with the buttons B and C. These are more elaborate special attacks that take up 2 meters. Each character has something called their potential, that's activated when a character reaches a specific criteria. These things act as stat boosters that play differently for all the characters. For example, Asuna gets boosted 10% in damage when calling in support 4 different times, while Shauna gets 20% attack boost when landing 10 hits. Each player also gets 2 trump cards that can be used to get out of a sticky combo situation and turn the battle around. Overall, the game is really easy to learn and welcoming to any new fighting game player. There's a story mode found in the arcade mode that tries to weave the multiple character arcs together, but overall the story put together seems a little bit off. The individual interactions between the characters are cool, but woven together to make up a story mode seems a little bit of a letdown. There are some cool little bonuses that you can unlock that are sure to make a lot of fans of the anime really happy. You can use points that you earn from battles to unlock character bios, illustrations, and even a voice test for all the different characters. It's a nice little collection of bonuses for you to unlock with all your hard work. The online multiplayer, as far as my own personal testing goes, works out pretty great. The net play seemed fine during my matches, and I was usually within a ranked match within 30 to 45 seconds. You can connect with your friends online, or do a quick match, or even a ranked match, but sadly there isn't any form of crossplay between the Vita and the PS3 version. You can, however, use cross-save to transfer your saves between the two different platforms. Players also have the option to customize a player card for their online matches, with their favorite character icons, signatures, and backgrounds. All pretty standard fighting game options. I really like the Denki Boko Fighting Climax. I only recently got into anime this year, and I'm sort of a low-tier fighting game player. I don't really love to spend hours making combos, but I like to pick up and play every once in a while. So I think I fit the niche that this game has, and it's a pretty small niche. You have to like the anime, and you have to be somewhat into fighting games. You don't have to be complete fans of exact both things, but you need to at least have some interest in both of them. And so it has a small niche audience. For example, if you like the anime, but you don't really like fighting games, there's not much of a reason to get this besides the interactions between the characters, and in order to get that, you need to play the fighting game. Vice versa, if you play this as just a fighting game, you might not really have a connection with the characters because you don't want the anime. So if you do fit that niche audience that this game is targeting, I think you should really check it out. It's pretty fun and it's really just enjoyable to see all the character interactions. To go along with that, if you're not really into that target niche audience, then you might want to wait for a price drop if you still want to check this out. It's currently 40 bucks online for PS3 and I believe $32 on the Vita if you buy it online, but it might go down in price later so you might want to check it out once it goes down in price. Regardless of that though, it's a pretty good game and if you fit that niche audience, I think you'd really enjoy it. Thank you all very much for watching my review. I hope you guys found it useful and enjoyable. If you guys did and you guys want to support the channel, share it online with your social feeds or with your friends. Ask more people to find out about this channel and I really appreciate it, so thank you. 
Once again, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.